good. It's, a, it's like a, is it all one or is it two different things? It's two different things. Oh, how yeah. about that? Welcome. Betty Thank is you. a good name. Not that many people are named Betty anymore. No, yeah, it's me and a bunch of ladies who are about to die any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Sorry, Betty White. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> Forever. Let's go with Crocker. I don't yeah, think she right, exists. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your real yeah. name is Elizabeth, I assume. It is, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. usually how that goes. But I've come to love Betty. I'm a craggy old woman inside, so I feel like the name reflects who I truly Why am. Why do you say that? You're an uh, old woman in the inside. I don't know. I've, I've always felt that way. Like, I feel like I'm a combination of Buster and Lucille Bluth, like half like this and half <laughs> like this. Um, <laughs> it's an arrested development yeah. re reference. Mark there. Maron and I have that in common. Right? I see. Yeah. 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 He is like, he's like a <laughs> he's, crabby old man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. And he's on the show with you. And this is your first Emmy nomination. Yes. Right? Yeah. How did you find out? Were you up? Did they call? Did someone call you? How did you learn that? No. You... So I'm so excited that this is happening. This was not on my brain dream radar at all. Really? Um, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. I feel like I have a, a healthy sense of insecurity with a little healthy sprinkling of self-loathing, which uh -huh. is like, <laughs> you set the bar healthily low and i just never ever ever thought that this was gonna happen <laughs> it's so weird i was um i did this movie with uh the, my new favorite rebel wilson and we end the movie with uh dance number to express yourself the madonna song yes mm -hmm. yeah um and so the day the emmys were being announced i had forgotten that was happening and i was recording my part of express yourself so not my comfort zone anyway and I was kind of in this recording booth being afraid I was getting it wrong. And the dude came over the intercom and was like, that was fine. And I guess you got nominated for an Emmy just now. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my first reaction was like, I don't want him to feel pressured to like have this moment with me. So I was like, okay, we can go from the top. <laughs> go, go for a second, <laughs> It just went in the bathroom. I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Is this, will this be your first award show, or have you been to them before? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I went to the SAG Awards um, last year, and that was like a <clears throat> kind of like an almost career ending uh, terror parade. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> we were, um, the week leading up to the SAG Awards, uh, we were shooting our last episode where I wrestle a lot. And I got, unbeknownst to me, I got a pretty bad concussion. Um, and I'd never had one before, so I, I just didn't know that that's what had happened. How did you get it? Um, so in the last episode, I wrestle our wrestling coach in real life, Chavo Guerrero Jr. Um, and there's a move where he backflips over me and I kind of run under him and miss him, which is what was supposed to happen. But I misheard the cue and I screwed it up. And I, it was like my head was a spear and his body a water buffalo. I mean, like I was just <laughs> full Tom and Jerry, like rammed my head almost into his butt. Um, it's like a, a real headbutt, like yes, a head full butt. on, yeah, like a cartoon. In a serious way. Yes, yeah, and kind of got up and saw stars, but I didn't want to get in trouble. I, got, so I was like, I'm fine, I'm good to go. And oh. then went to the SAG Awards, like, the next day. And so the SAG Awards, I was, like, hungover Cinderella on the outside, full Gary Busey on the inside. <laughs> like, just, <laughs> Like, Did you have to do any interviews or anything I, like that? So they, they kick off the SAG Awards with this champagne toast, and I was asked to be the actress who was like, welcome. Um, and it was me and the, I guess, heiress to this champagne brand uh, who was in this ball gown. And I, we had to do a million tastes because we kept screwing it up. So I drank like five glasses of champagne. Um, and they were like, let's get some of you guys uh, just doing a little banter with each other. I was like, what if we talk about our worst childhood dramas? And she was like... <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't go over? No, she was like, my English isn't great. I don't know what you're saying. I was uh, like, it's for the best. Don't worry. Don't, don't you are, to you're from an acting family, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Where, where's your family from? Um, I grew up in New York City, uh, mm -hmm. and both my parents are mainly theater actors, so I kind of grew up 
yeah, they're, we're all old show pony carny people. Did you act with your parents when you were a kid in things? No, no, that was not allowed. They, I oh. think they were really hoping that I would fall in love with science, but... I see. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, yeah, I kind of grew up in the stage manager booth, you know, taking notes on... I mean, I would watch their performances over and over and over again, and, um, you know, I thought I was being a really helpful eight-year-old by being like, so I saw that uh, you were having trouble with the carnation prop, and it just... you lose the laugh when you screw it up in that way. And like, <laughs> Thank you so much. What? I thought I was being amazing. <laughs> You were giving notes to the actors? Yes, How constantly. How did that go over? Not well. And I thought... <laughs> I was like, I'm an innovator. Uh, yeah, if an eight-year-old gave me a note, I would be put in jail for my reaction. Yeah, yeah. right. No, not like that. <laughs> Before you became a television wrestler, what kind yeah. of parts uh, were you doing? What did you do? Uh, I mean, you know, I've been working as an actor for almost... 13 years, I guess, and I, I guess I have a healthy sense of realism about, like, you know, while things are changing in a really exciting way, I think it's still kind of like men get to be sort of three-dimensional, sexy forever, farting geniuses. Thank you. And, you know. Oh. I mean, oh. uh, I mean, yes, that's terrible. Uh. And, you know, I, I played a lot of either, like, uh, you know, sobbing boobs or, like, <laughs> sobbing laundry basket. There was a lot of, like, you know, like, you're back, hey, you know, <laughs> you were so brave. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did that well. Yeah, yeah. I believed thank, it. thank you so much. Yeah, it's a different time. Wow, now. that's something else. Well, yeah. so then this is, must be exciting. You had these so great excited. cast and yes. such a big show. Yeah, yeah. And I now mean, you're going to be at the Emmys. There. Yeah. Do you know who your competition is? Do you no, have a, no, oh my you God, don't. no! The, I, I, it's cruel. They make you do these phone interviews right after you find out you get nominated, and right. I'm still in like a neuroses tornado of like, who am I? Um, uh -huh. And she was like, "What uh, is your whole life changed now?" And I was like, "No, you know, I mean, Kim Jong Un has come. At times, a flat circle. I don't like." <laughs> what? <laughs> and she was like, what? "I don't know what I was saying." <laughs> what? Um, and then she was like, D -d 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 "What do you think of your other your competition?" And I was like, "Let's Google it. Emmy nominees 2019." She was like, "It's 2018." I was like, "Oh my God." <laughs> Time really is a flat it's circle. It's a flat circle. <laughs> well, well in any event, whoever the, your competition is, congratulations. Yeah, congr I know now. Uh, They're all amazing. Yeah, oh, you now know. All right. Well, congratulations yeah. <laughs> to you individually. Thank you so uh, much. Betty Gilpin, everybody. Glow is on Netflix. She's nominated for an Emmy. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.